We have just got new updates regarding Tesla Cybertruck's patent application submitted by Tesla in 2020, which have revealed a bit more information about the Cybertruck, which is currently slated to start shipping at the very end of this year or in early 2022. Engineering and design are finished on the wild electric Cybertruck pickup, says CEO Elon Musk. If you thought the Tesla Cybertruck was a giant piece of stainless steel clad vaporware, you might have to think twice. The enormous pyramid-esque electric pickup truck could see its first deliveries by the end of the year, according to Tesla CEO Elon Musk. I think it's going to be an incredible vehicle, Musk said of the Tesla Cybertruck, during a call with investors to discuss 2020 earnings. If we get lucky, we will be able to do a few deliveries by the end of this year. But I expect volume production to be in 2022. Yes, he said lucky and Musk is also known for touting production and release dates that Tesla ultimately does not meet. But it appears real progress is being made. Design of Cybertruck. We have finished all the Cybertruck engineering, Musk says, and the designs are set. That is progress given that the design team was still tinkering in the fall. The next step is ordering the equipment needed to build the angular truck and its stainless steel panels. Musk said the company needs a large casting machine for the long truck bed, an 8,000-ton press is required, even larger than the 6,000-ton press used to make the 2021 Tesla Model Y, which uses a single piece of metal to form the rear third of the vehicle's body in white. A new gigafactory under construction in Austin, Texas, will assemble the Cybertruck. Tesla will achieve full self-driving autonomy this year. Musk told investors he is confident Tesla will achieve level 5 autonomy capability this year, given progress made in both the hardware and software. What remains is improving the core reliability of autopilot which the CEO states is almost at 100%, but needs to far exceed that. Musk said Tesla is open to licensing its autopilot technology to other automakers, much like others can use the supercharger network of fast chargers. One thing that cannot be shared. Those who pay roughly $8,000 for Tesla's full self-driving, FSD, package, cannot transfer the software upgrade to a new Tesla, is tied to the original purchase. Musk said the automaker is not allowing the transfer, but did say Tesla will offer subscriptions in the next few months, but gave no further details. Tesla marked its first year of profitability in 2020, while at the same time mainstream competition for the firm's vehicles is finally arriving in both the mass market, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and luxury segment, Porsche Taken. Tesla Armor Glass Patent. Tesla Armor Glass Patent reveals bulletproof secret to Cybertruck durability. Tesla rolled out several new patents related to the Cybertruck today, one of them being the bulletproof armor glass that CEO Elon Musk talked about on several occasions. The Cybertruck's durability has been one of the vehicle's most notorious features. The patent describes the multi-layered design that Tesla will use across several of its cars to prevent owners from spending big bucks on new windshields or windows after a scratch, crack or chip. Perhaps the most notable memory from the Cybertruck event in November 2019 was when Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen threw a metal ball at the Cybertruck's driver's door glass after slamming the stainless steel exoskeleton with a sledgehammer. After claiming the glass was durable enough to sustain several blows without cracking, the window did smash with the signature broken spheres imprinted into everyone's mind who watched the event. Elon Musk stated that Franz's initial sledgehammer hits damaged the base of the glass, weakening them to the point that the steel balls were able to easily break it. Musk proved later that the windows really were super durable by releasing a video of Franz throwing the same metal balls at the glass right before the Cybertruck was rolled out on stage. Now, the patent explains how Tesla created durable and near-indestructible automobile glass. According to the patent, the combination of the multi-layer glass stack has about a 10% chance of failure, with an impact of 2J Tesla's multi-layer glass stack is comprised of the following. An inner facing layer that has been chemically strengthened with high strength and flexibility. It measures between 0.5 and 1.1 mm thick and has an adhesive. The outer layer is comprised of borosilicate, a low melting point glass made from silica and boric oxide that is more resistant to thermal shock than any other common glass. Tesla focused heavily on the process of creating a highly durable automotive glass that would be able to withstand normal instances on the road and remain damage-free during operation. The patent states that, typically, automotive glass can be chipped, cracked, or broken without much external force. Something as small as a pebble that is launched into the air by another vehicle can cause enough damage to warrant an entire windshield replacement. Tesla wanted to avoid this as windshields can be expensive and difficult to replace. In fact, the external facing layer, in some embodiments, has the ability to resist crack initiation and crack propagation, making it durable in the event of a collision, or if a foul ball happens to hit some glass when you're at your kid's little league game. It doesn't appear that the Cybertruck will be the only vehicle to utilize the glass, as another illustration within the patent shows a sedan. Solar Panel Tonneau Patent. 
Tesla Cybertruck Solar Panel Tonneau Cover Comes to Life in New Pant. The Tesla Cybertruck's many features are now appearing as patents that the automaker has submitted to the United States Patent Office, and one of the most notable is the tonneau, or truck bed cover. While the retractable design of the tonneau provides convenience at the touch of a button for owners, it will protect any goods or cargo that drivers will store in the Cybertruck's massive bed. However, the design is now hinting toward even more versatility and usefulness as the patent describes the potential use as a solar panel that will provide range for the all-electric truck by capturing the sun's energy. In Tesla's newly published integrated tonneau cover for a vehicle patent, several inventors submit their idea and designs for the Cybertruck's fully mechanical tonneau cover. Guided along a set of channels in the bed of the truck, the tonneau cover will provide protection for any cargo that is stored in the back of the vehicle. Whether it be tools or luggage, the tonneau cover is Tesla's way of giving owners a way to protect their belongings without having to purchase expensive aftermarket bed covers, which other trucks do not provide. In order to mitigate the possibility of such damage, many truck owners install aftermarket truck bed covers that cover the bed of their truck, the patent states. However, not only may such aftermarket truck bed covers be difficult to install, they also may not fit exactly with the specifications of the truck beds of different models of trucks. If a truck bed cover does not have an accurate fit it can leak rain or snow through the gaps between the truck bed cover and the walls around the truck bed and cause cargo damage. In addition, not only are many aftermarket truck bed covers difficult to install and inconvenient to use, but they also take up space in the truck beds and reduce the overall utility of the trucks. The tonneau, in a revolutionary new design, will also be able to recharge the vehicle's battery pack thanks to 110 solar electric cells that are electrically connected to a photovoltaic charging system and battery. When the tonneau cover is deployed to cover the bed and the solar electric cells that make up the slats are facing the sun, the battery within the electric vehicle can be charged by solar electric cells, the patent states. While solar panels on an electric vehicle have been looked at as a possibility in the past, the idea has never come to fruition due to ineffectiveness. Because a car doesn't provide much surface area, to begin with, the contribution of charge from solar panels would be minimal, and it would require extremely clear and favorable weather conditions to provide any effective additional range to the vehicle. However, CEO Elon Musk hinted just days after the Cybertruck's unveiling event in November 2019 that Tesla would be adding an option to add solar power that could generate up to 15 miles per day. Musk also hinted toward fold-out solar wings that could generate an additional 30 to 40 miles per day, which could alleviate the need to stop at a supercharger for some owners. The tonneau would be completely covered in solar electric cells, and the patent claims that when the truck bed cover is in a closed position, it is configured to recharge the battery pack, the closed position of the truck bed cover enabling the plurality of solar electric cells to face the sun. Musk also hinted toward the possibility of installing solar cells on the roof of a potential Tesla van with Joe Rogan in a podcast interview earlier this year. Elon Musk said that the van would be a favorable design due to its big, flat area and solar could start to make a little more sense. Because the tonneau is flat and covers a considerable surface area, there is some potential for it to be just as effective as Musk's idea for the van. The full patent document is available in description. Tesla Model Y, Model 3 production increasing. Musk also says 2021 Tesla Model Y production has increased at the Fremont plant, which is almost at full speed on the compact electric SUV. In Shanghai, the new plant is ramping up Model 3 production and is now building 5,000 of the small electric cars a week. And he provided initial details of the new Tesla Model S, which adds a Model S plaid model with a tri-motor powertrain and a new interior with an aircraft-style steering yoke. We think it is the best car of any kind at any price today, Musk said. And while the new Tesla Model S will cost $10,000 more than the outgoing model, he points to level 5 full self-driving autonomy in the works that will eventually make the car capable of being a robo-taxi in the future, which would only increase its value to owners, Tesla says, as it could then make money shuttling passengers around when not in personal use. And only a small percentage of people subscribe to my channel if you will subscribe it will be greatly appreciated and you can